Hi, my name is Kelly Cole and I work for G Aviation and have done for 16 years. So G Aviation designs, manufactures and repairs aircraft engines, both commercial and military aircraft. Today, I want to share my journey so far. and I want to start by sharing with you why I went into engineering. So I was one of three. Uh, older brother, younger brother, we can see in the photo here. I was, and I still am, a bit of a tomboy. I love playing with Lego, Carno, Technics, with my two brothers, and I always loved making things, whether it was outfits for my Barbies um, or Meccano cars for my brothers. We'd often go on bike rides and we'd see these things passing us, which what I thought at one time was a rocket. And I learned the thing under the yellow cover was actually an aircraft engine. And I was actually amazed that these things being so big and heavy looking could power an aircraft engine, all the people on the aircraft and their stuff, and take them safely on holiday. So I knew I wanted to go into engineering. And I spoke to my technology teacher and asked him about options, uh, whether it's a degree, apprenticeships. And I wanted both. And a, an apprenticeship can give you both. So that's the route I went. So I applied my apprenticeship with GE and I learned about how these aircraft engines come apart, how you take them apart, inspect them, repair them, put them back together um, before testing them and then send them back to the airline. And it was a lot of fun. I then went on um, after my apprenticeship to to complete my degree in mechanical engineering, sponsored by GE. For my final year project, I developed a repair for the aircraft engine part, which is still used today. I got my first class in my degree and was also awarded student of the year. I then wanted to continue learning and I wanted to understand more the business side of aircraft engines. So GE sponsored me through my MBA, my master's in business administration. Um, I learned about more about the business financials, how business operate and organisation development. So during that time, I went into a role with our customers, working directly with the airlines in Middle East, in America and Europe, managing the services contracts. So when they send the engine to the shop, managing the contract, which um, controls that shop visit. And these shop visits um, cost millions of dollars per event. So managing these services contracts, you're understanding what you can charge the customer, any warranty claims, when they're going to pay. And it's a big negotiation and you learn how to negotiate, which is very similar to playing chess. You need to understand what the customer wants, what the next move is, and anticipate that in order to get the results you want. I was then asked to go and run a manufacturing cell, making circuit boards, which go into the aircraft displays and power tiles, which can be shown here on screen in the cockpit. I had to move from Cardiff to Cheltenham to do this, um, and it gave me the opportunity to learn a new technology. So in that role, I was leading a team of 100 people, um, some shown in the photo here. And most of the people are older than me at this time. I had to learn how to motivate them, to help them, and make sure we worked as part of a team. Now, if any of you lead sports teams, you know, winning this team is very rewarding and you'll definitely enjoy leading teams yourselves in work. I then went on to a role working with our airline customers again in a slightly different um, capacity, but I really enjoyed working directly with the airlines, helping them, understand how their business worked, how an op airline operates. Um, and again, it gave me a, a, an ability to learn different cultures again, more across Europe, which I, I really enjoyed. So I then went into a, sell, a sales role, selling engine services in Europe and Africa. And again, if you like to work in a competitive environment, um, this is a very fun environment for you. 
And what I loved about this role was lots of the services contracts I won actually then went to the overhaul shop in Cardiff where I started. And for me, it was a way of saying thank you for all those people who helped me through my apprenticeship is winning that work and sending that work to the shop. So I absolutely love the sales role and if you're a competitive person you will enjoy a role in sales. Farmer Airshow happens every other year in the UK and it's like the Olympics for a person in aviation sales. Making a, a big sale and announcing it during the air show is very much like winning Olympic medal. Um, so a very enjoyable experience. The, the role in sales allowed me to travel to several places in Africa. Um, I learned about the different cultures there, the different challenges they face and how airlines operate there. And what it really makes you realise is in the UK we have lots of opportunities available to us, um, which not everyone does. And I really urge you to take the opportunities you have in the UK and don't waste them. So here's a picture of myself, my colleague and two customers um, in North Africa. And again, getting to know these people from different countries, getting to learn about them and some of their business, their country, is something I really enjoyed which a Korean aviation allows you to, to achieve. So this is what I do now. This is my team of 12 awesome engineers. They're located with their customers. Um, so the base at TUI, a BA, at Air France, KLM, and they help the customers manage the aircraft on wing. My job is their coach to help them be the best engineers and provide the best support to our customers. So when I left school, I wanted to be an engineer. I quickly went into more business role. I managed a manufacturing site, went back to work for airline customers, um, and then into a sales role. A, a Korean engineering allow, allows you to be very diverse. You can go deep in engineering, or you can use engineering as a base, but it's a, it's a great base to have and gives you so many opportunities. So when you leave school, learning doesn't stop. Um, it certainly hasn't stopped for me. So GE has its own university called Crotonville, which is just outside of central New York. Um, I went there this January for a week and learned about leadership. And great companies like GE will continue to invest in you throughout your career and allow you to continue to learn and grow. So, if this kid in the photo here, who doesn't know her front break from her back break, which is why she has a big scab down her face, can go from being an apprentice to getting a first class degree, leading a team of 100, mil, 100 people, and then sell a, selling a $100 million contract, so can you. You can be anything you want to be. Thank you.